Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is Hammersman's fleet attacking me. So let's go ahead and start. These first couple of levels will be quite easy. But they soon ramp up in... They soon ramp up in the uh, amount of troops that attack me. So this is the first time I've used three prototype weapons with Hammersman attacking me. My Doom Cannon is actually boosted. As you'll see it just as they enter the, uh, the bike zone. Right on the edge of getting took out. Yep, just one more left. Get rid of them quick. So that's the first level down. One intel from that one. Let's go ahead and do level two. Just going into the bite of the cannons. Just making short work of all those uh, heavies. It's definitely making a distant a difference when I've I've, bo I've boosted all my rocket launchers. It don't take long to finish off Zookas with rockets with boosted rockets. That was quicker than the last one. That was it. That's level two. Let's see. So let's defend against this one. The mortars do, do quite a bit of damage. The zoops are going to get absolutely annihilated now on the next barrage. There we go. So it grins now. Some addicts have just died. I do hate grenadiers because they just sit out of range and just pummel your base. It does take a while for them to get into the range. Not even out of range of the uh, doom cannon. There we go. Still, they're messing about. Run it at four times speed. There we go. We're just going to sit there now for two minutes with the medics sat there. Yep. Um, one minute left. Just going to sit here and wait. <laughs> They're just staring at each other on the beach. moving or anything. That's level three complete. Let's defend against level four. There's 312 riflemen in this one. make quite a bit of a mess of them there. The 
machine gun is quite a bit more efficient at killing the troops. Hopefully we'll take out the medics, they're too busy healing each other at the moment. Those boosted rockets are absolutely annihilating them. <laughs> the riflemen. Just a, going into a meat grinder. They might not even get up to the rockets. They're all shocked at the moment. There we go. The grams are going to get absolutely annihilated as well. There we go. That was level four. That was level five. We're now going to go for level six. I think that's six. So defend against level six, I think. How many barrages are they allowed? I think riflemen are pretty useless against my base. Can't we can lose that scorcher? Yeah. When scorchers die on the beach. Some tanks. Tanks, heavies. The rifleman coming in now. So all the riflemen almost dead. Now we're going to concentrate on the tanks. The uh, grapplers does seem to be misfiring quite a lot. They're right on the edge of catch, being caught by the grappler. Every single time it's missed, I don't know what it's doing. Why it misses, I don't know. There we go, that's a simple one. Another one down. See what we're on now. One, two, three, four, five. So this is now level six. Let's have a look at what we've got. Six hundred and ninety-six riflemen. So let's defend. I think that's the most that's ever been on my base. They may be ramping up this. Medics aren't going to help with that volume of. Uh, Rifleman. I think it might just be a slaughter this. You throw enough riflemen at it though and they do get all the way to the core. This is the third wave coming onto the beach. They're getting further than I want them to. And another wave as well. Definitely need the shocks helping. The shock launches just to stop them. They're on the left hand side rocket launcher now. Looks like they're taking out the rocket launchers. It's not to say that I can't still win. Still one rocket launcher left.
Now they're in range of the uh, cannons. So that was, uh, that was getting closer to not being able to complete it. So almost 700 riflemen there. So this is the last one. Yeah, are you ready to be steamrolled? That doesn't actually look too bad. I think I might be able to get away. With uh, not changing my base around too much, what I will have to do is move my rockets back a bit. Let's go ahead and try that. So hopefully I'll be able to take stop them. There actually seems to be less on this level than there was on the last one. They'll obviously have a lot more gunboat energy though. Taking out virtually all weakened my cannons there at the front. Those mortars do do a bit of damage when they're all clumped up like that. That must have took out half of that first wave. Now the rockets are really kicking in. I'd love them to take out those medics. So we've got more barrage there. I've lost all my cannons virtually. Critters dropped. And warriors shouldn't be a problem. This is the last wave, hopefully. We've still got the flamethrowers to stop them. Fingers crossed that I'll be able to do this. Maybe not. Nope, doesn't look like it. That was close. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that last level without boosting. Let's do a building health boost. No, a damage boost instead. 37% boost. I do actually have two others in the trees as well. And this is probably why I get raided quite a lot. Because people don't realise that I've got two extra de defensive building damage statues hidden in the trees. So that's up to 74% now. So let's go ahead. So I, I do need all these parts. Because I need to try and run three prototype defences now at all times to stop the attacks happening. Let's go ahead and defend again. At level 7 this is. So I haven't changed anything around. If you do attack the base again, if they do attack the base again, it's, it's the exact same way they attacked the last time. But the damage, the defensive damage now is up to 74%. Plus the other two in the trees. So it should make a massive difference this time. Especially as they're so easily killed by rocket launchers. Now crown to the left side. Critters are down again to try and take out the flamethrowers. Yeah, I've definitely killed a lot more this time because we've only got the warriors left to deal with now. And I've still got all three rocket launchers. 
the amps down. The Warriors are annihilating everything left on the base. I hope I can still do it with this boost. Come on, flamethrowers, do your job. Come on, how close it is now. How close is this going to be if I manage to do it? Look, we're going to take it again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thought I'd had it that time. Let's go ahead and just boost again. It's worth using one power, one. It's definitely worth using one uh, power powder just for all the extra. All those extra prototype weapon pieces. Same again as you'll see coming in bottom left on the first wave, bottom right on the first wave, moving to the left hand side. Hopefully I should do it this time. I don't want to have to waste another power powder. Just speed it up. Because we know what happens here, we know we need to get it to the warriors. The Warriors are really strong at the last level. You know, they clear off the map pretty quickly. So building health and building damage are boosted on this last attack. There's the Scorcher dead. Hopefully the flamethrower will finish him off. We should have really moved this one. One of these to there. Come on. Yeah, we've got this one I think. Medics just getting fried. So this is the first time I've not really had to move my base around too much to be able to take all seven levels out. So that's it. Completed. That's level seven. So three power rods, one field capacitor, one complex gear and one intel. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't reached level 7, it is actually possible. So uh, let's have a look at what's in my submarine. That's not a bad reward. So that's it. So it's left the base. Left the boat's left. So that's completed. So thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. So check back soon. Thank you.